The KF-21 Borome fighter jet has successfully conducted night flights for the first time. South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, said the night flight was carried out on March 9, 2023, as reported by Yan Hap. DAPA added, all aircraft systems are operating normally. The aircraft's internal and external lighting worked well despite the limited outside light. The single-seat version of the KF-21 prototype first aired in July 2022. Meanwhile, the tandem-seat prototype first flew on February 20, 2023. During the forward flight testing process, the KF-21 will accumulate more than 2,000 flight hours through February 2026. This is to verify flight performance, expand flight range, and conduct an assessment of temporary combat performance in the second half of this year, explained DAPA. The Republic of Korea Air Force, ROC AF, will acquire 120 KF-21s, including an additional 80 by 2032. Two years since mass production i.e. in 2028, ROC AF is expected to get 40 units of KF-21. The KF-21 Borome project was carried out by South Korea in partnership with Indonesia. At the start of this project, it was stated that the Indonesian Air Force would acquire 48 KF-21 units which were formerly known as KFX, IFX. In later developments, information circulated that Jakarta's order for KF-21, IFX, would be reduced from 48 units to 16 units or for the needs of just one squadron. Since then there has been no progress on how many Indonesian units plan to buy the KF-21 Borome to complement the strength of the Indonesian Air Force. As is known, currently the Indonesian Ministry of Defense is also pursuing other targets that have been set, namely the purchase of 42 Rafale units from France and 36 F-15X Eagle II from the United States.